Mr. President and NDTV, thank you very much for this incredible honor. You know, Malcolm Gladwell in his book, The Outliers, said, who you are cannot be separated from where you came from. I left India 35 years ago, went on to the United States, and had tremendous success in that meritocracy. But none of that could have happened if I hadn't had a wonderful upbringing very much here in India. So I have a lot to thank India for. Now my three lessons I'd like to share with you. First, please be a lifelong student. You know, when we are kids, we ask questions like, why is the sky blue? Why is the bird flying so high? But for some reason, as we get older, that curiosity goes away. And if we are happy with the knowledge we have, then we are actually going to atrophy. So please, remain a lifelong student. Don't lose that curiosity. Second, whatever you do, throw yourself into it. Throw your head, heart, and hands into it. I look at my job not as a job. I look at it as a calling, as a passion. And I don't care about the hours. I don't care about the hardship, because to me, everything is a joy. So whatever you do, please look upon it as a calling and a passion, not as a job, not as something temporary. The third and the most important one, please help others rise. Greatness comes not from a position, but from helping build the future. All of us in positions of power have an obligation to pull others up. You know, as I stand here today, I look at my responsibility not as accepting an honor, I look upon it as accepting a challenge and a responsibility, an obligation to actually make it possible for the people who are younger to come up and achieve levels of greatness so they too can be on the stage sometime in the future. So thank you again, NDTV, for this incredible honor. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.